In this video, we'll be ranking the top earning dead celebrities of 2022 and exploring the various ways in which they can continue to make an impact on the entertainment industry and beyond. We'll be taking a closer look at the lives and careers of these iconic figures and discussing the enduring legacies they've left behind. From musicians and actors to writers and artists, these deceased celebrities have made an indelible mark on popular culture and will be remembered for generations to come. So sit back, relax, and join us as we count down the top earning dead celebrities of 2022 and honor the contributions they have made to the world of entertainment. Whether you're a long-time fan or just getting introduced to these talented individuals, we hope you'll enjoy this tribute to some of the greatest names in entertainment history. James Brown Born on May 3, 1933, in Barnwell, South Carolina, was a legendary musician known for his soulful voice and electrifying stage presence. Brown rose to fame in the 1950s and 60s with hits like Papa's Got a Brand New Bag and I Got You, I Feel Good. And he is widely considered one of the most influential musicians of all time. Born into poverty, Brown had a difficult childhood and was forced to leave school to help support his family. He began his musical career as a gospel singer, but eventually turned to R&B and funk, creating a sound that was all his own. His energetic performances and signature dance moves made him a popular performer and he quickly became known as the Godfather of Soul. Over the course of his career, Brown released over 50 albums and sold over 50 million records worldwide. He was a pioneer of funk music and influenced many other artists, including Michael Jackson, Prince, and George Clinton. Brown was also known for his social activism and advocacy for civil rights, and he used his music to speak out against injustice and inequality. Despite his many achievements, Brown's life was not without its challenges. He struggled with addiction and legal troubles, and he faced numerous personal and financial setbacks. But through it all, he continued to make music and perform for his fans, and his legacy as a pioneering musician and cultural icon lives on. Even after his passing in 2006, Brown's music continues to inspire and entertain, and he is remembered as one of the greatest musicians of all time. In December 2021, the estate of James Brown sold a stake in his music rights, as well as his name and likeness, to the New York-based publisher Primary Wave for an estimated $100 million. The proceeds from the sale will be used to fund academic scholarships. Elvis Presley, also known as the King of Rock and Roll, was a legendary musician and cultural icon. Born in 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi, Presley grew up in poverty and was raised by his mother and father, who were both musicians. At the age of 21, Presley rose to fame with the release of his first single, That's Alright, and quickly became one of the most popular and influential musicians of his time. Over the course of his career, Presley released over 600 songs and sold over 600 million records worldwide. He was known for his unique blend of rock, pop, blues, and country music, and his distinctive voice and stage presence captivated audiences around the world. Presley's music was a source of joy and inspiration for millions of fans, and his performances were often electric and emotional. He had the ability to connect with audiences on a deep and personal level, and his songs continue to evoke powerful feelings of nostalgia and admiration. Presley was also a popular actor appearing in over 30 films and television shows throughout his career. He was known for his charm and charisma, and his performances often left audiences enraptured and inspired. Tragically, Presley passed away at the age of 42 in 1977, but his music and legacy continue to live on. His influence on the world of music and pop culture cannot be overstated, and he is remembered as one of the most important and beloved musicians of all time. Even decades after his passing, Presley's music continues to resonate with fans and inspire new generations of artists. His life and work continue to touch people's hearts and bring them joy, and his legacy will never be forgotten. Although his estate didn't make a ton directly off the smash Elvis biopic, but the film is expected to lift Presley's earnings through 2024.
David Bowie was a British musician, singer, songwriter, and actor who was one of the most influential and innovative musicians of his generation. Born David Robert Jones in 1947 in London, Bowie was raised by his mother and father who were both active in the entertainment industry. Bowie began his music career as a teenager, performing in various bands and releasing his first single, Lisa Jane, in 1964. However, it wasn't until the release of his album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars in 1972, that he achieved widespread fame and recognition. Over the course of his career, Bowie released 25 studio albums and sold over 140 million records worldwide. He was known for his eclectic and ever-evolving musical style, which incorporated elements of rock, pop, soul, and electronic music. His most famous songs include Space Oddity, Changes, Heroes, and Let's Dance. In January of 2022, the publishing catalog and masters of the late musician David Bowie was sold to Warner Chappelle for a reported $250 million. This sale generated a significant income for Bowie's estate, which has allowed his legacy to continue to thrive and be celebrated by his fans around the world. Kobe Bryant was an American professional basketball player who spent his entire 20-year career with the Los Angeles Lakers of the National Basketball Association, or the NBA. He was born on the 23rd of August, 1978, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and was named after the famous Japanese beef after his parents saw it in a menu while they were out to dinner. Bryant was a highly skilled and competitive player, and he was known for his scoring ability, tenacity, and leadership on the court. He was a five-time NBA champion and a two-time NBA Finals MVP. He was also an 18-time NBA All-Star and a two-time Olympic gold medalist. Off the court, Bryant was a passionate and dedicated athlete who worked hard to improve his skills and achieve his goals. He was also a devoted husband and father, and he had four daughters with his wife, Vanessa. Tragically, Bryant died in a helicopter crash on January 26, 2020, at the age of 41. His sudden and untimely death shocked and saddened the sports world and millions of fans around the world. His legacy as a basketball player and a person continues to be celebrated and remembered. Kobe Bryant's parents were both professional basketball players. His father, Joe Jellybean Bryant, played for several NBA teams, and his mother, Pamela Cox Bryant, played for the Italian team, Rare Venezia Mestra. Kobe Bryant started playing basketball at a young age and attended Lower Merion High School in Pennsylvania. He was a standout player and led his team to the state championship as a senior. Kobe Bryant faced many challenges and struggles throughout his life and career. In 2003, Kobe Bryant was charged with sexual assault after a 19-year-old woman accused him of raping her in a Colorado hotel room. The case was ultimately dropped after the accuser declined to testify but it was a highly publicized and controversial incident that damaged Bryant's reputation and career. In 2006, Kobe Bryant was involved in a dispute with his teammate Shaquille O'Neal, which led to O'Neal being traded to the Miami Heat. This was a difficult period for Bryant, who had to adjust to playing without his longtime teammate and friend. In 2013, Kobe Bryant suffered a torn Achilles tendon, which is a serious and often career-ending injury for basketball players. He was forced to sit out the rest of the season, and many people wondered if he would be able to return to the court at all. In 2015, Kobe Bryant announced that he would be retiring at the end of the season. This was a difficult decision for him, as he had spent his entire career with the Lakers and was one of the greatest players in the history of the NBA. Overall, Kobe Bryant faced many challenges and struggles throughout his life and career. Despite these obstacles, he was able to overcome them and achieve great success as a player and as a person. In November 2021, Coca-Cola purchased the remaining 70% stake in Body Armor Sports Drink for $5.6 billion. The Los Angeles Lakers legend and Body Armor investor received a reported $400 million from the sale, according to the Wall Street Journal. John Ronald Ruel Tolkien, commonly known as J.R.R. Tolkien, was a British writer, poet, and philologist. He was born on the 3rd of January, 1892, in Bloemfontein, South Africa, and later moved to England with his family. Tolkien is best known for his epic fantasy novels, 
The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, which have been translated into over 60 languages and have sold millions of copies worldwide. Tolkien was a scholar of languages and literature, and his works are heavily influenced by his knowledge of mythology and linguistics. He was a professor of Anglo-Saxon at the University of Oxford, and his academic work focused on the study of Old English literature. In addition to his academic work and his writing, Tolkien was a member of the Inklings, a literary group that included fellow writers C.S. Lewis and Charles Williams. The Inklings met regularly to discuss their writing and share their ideas, and they had a significant influence on each other's work. Tolkien died on September 2nd, 1973, at the age of 81. His legacy as a writer and scholar continues to be celebrated, and his works have had a lasting impact on the fantasy genre and popular culture. Tolkien was fluent in several languages, including English, Latin, Greek, and Old English. He was also an expert in Old Norse and Gothic, and used his knowledge of these languages to create the Elvish languages featured in his novels. Tolkien was a talented artist and often illustrated his own works. He designed many of the maps and drawings that appear in The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, and his art has been exhibited at galleries and museums around the world. Tolkien's original manuscript for The Lord of the Rings was rejected by several publishers before it was finally accepted by Allen and Unwin. The novel was published in three volumes between 1954 and 1955 and became a commercial and critical success. In 1972, Tolkien was awarded the Commander of the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II for his contributions to literature. He was the first author of fantasy literature to be recognized with this honor. In 2022, J.R. Tolkien's properties made a record 1.6 billion in posthumous earnings. The properties of the late author of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit were sold to Embrace a Group, a Swedish video game conglomerate, for 500 million. We hope you discovered something new about these iconic figures and the enduring legacies they've left behind. Whether you're a longtime fan or just getting introduced to these talented individuals, we hope you'll continue to appreciate and enjoy the contributions they've made to the world of entertainment. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more great content from Lists and Jeffs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates and new videos. Until next time, take care.